So now that we have a squeaky set of clean strings, I'm going to show you how I like to clean my bow. I'm going to switch my rosin over for the winter on this bow. Um, I don't know if you can see me or not. Let me bring the camera up. Um, but I got a squeaky set of clean strings and I want to show you that this bow is loaded, loaded with rosin and on clean strings and we're going to, after when we're done, we're going to uh, show you that there's no rosin left on the bow. So you can see that there's tons of rosin. I don't know if you can even see there's already some rosin buildup uh, on the string just from those few strokes. Okay. Um, so we're going to clean the strings again because I don't want to contaminate the rosin that we're going to take off on this, this bow. We're going to have it nice and clean and we want to show you that there's no rosin left on the bow. So, um, I already poured the uh, alcohol into a little bowl here and all I use is the the cheap stuff but I use this two levels there's I think there's like 85 percent 91 percent I use the 91 percent I think this bottle costs about two bucks uh, I don't like having the other stuff around because it's very volatile and this stuff always seems to do the trick for me for whatever I'm doing um, so I just poured a little bit into a into a bowl and take the Take the screw out of the frog. And this is a uh, fiberglass bow, so I'm not being quite as careful as I might be with a wood bow. But all I do is just dip the string in and curl it up into the dish. Come on. I get all the hair in there. And I just hook that over there. And I like to swirl it around a little bit. Let me just grab a, I'm right in the kitchen here, so let me just grab a spoon. And so, just let it soak. You gotta be a little bit careful, um, especially at the tip. You don't want any um, alcohol getting soaked up in it, because this is glued. So I don't know how they do it, but it's glued on both ends, and you don't want the al too much alcohol going up there and loosening the glue. But I've never had a problem, and I like to just swish it around a little bit just to get the the uh, rosin off the, the strings. And just let it set a minute more. And if you don't get it the first time, just do it again, because uh, you should be able to get all the rosin off, and again, you don't need the fancy... Uh, the, faint, the, the higher quality alcohol. And then I just wipe it down. And again, yeah, just keep wiping. And people are also paranoid about tangling up the hairs. I've never tangled it. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've lost a hair on this bow. I've had it for a year and a half. I've had my other bow for a couple years. And again, if it was a wood bow, I'd be a little more careful before attaching the frog. I'll attach this a little sooner than I would with the wood one, because I don't care if the hair touches the stick, because it's not going to hurt it. Just make sure it's not twisted. Sometimes I'll run my finger up through the hair to make sure I'm straight, and then reattach it, because you can dry it a lot faster with the bow under tension. And so it's still a little damp. Uh, you don't have to wait overnight or anything. This will be dry in a couple minutes. Uh, and as you're rubbing it, you're kind of warming it up. Um, so it dries really, really fast because it's, it's alcohol. Um, and again, if it's a wood bow, you gotta be a lot more careful. And if you didn't dip it enough, you'll see like goo between the hairs, uh, which is the, the rosin that's just sort of half melted and uh, not coming off. Trying to do it with a brush and everything, and it's just like a lot of work. Uh, this just gets it totally flowing between every string. And you usually get it all in one shot. A couple times I've done it twice, but usually I get it in the first shot. Um, And that's pretty, pretty dry. So, you now I can feel a little dampness down here. Mm. 
You don't have to wait overnight or anything. And uh, rather than clean the strings on the fiddle, I'll just bow in a different spot. And I'll show you that there's no rosin on this bow. There's, there's nothing. There's no rosin left on that bow. It's completely clean. And uh, that's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, even with me explaining it and showing you, it probably took less than, let's see what the camera says. It says five minutes.